Okay, hi. In this tutorial, I'm going to solve problems related to Newton's first law. Okay, so what is Newton's first law? It states that an object at rest will remain at rest or continue to move with uniform velocity in a straight line unless acted upon by an external force. Okay, this means our net force will equal to zero. Okay. So, we need to remember when object at rest or moving with uniform velocity, this means the acceleration of the object is equal to zero. Since the resultant force or the net force equal to zero, this means fx and fy also equal to zero. Okay, so let's start by solving the first question that is PSPM 2008-2009 where we have three coplanar forces. Okay, with magnitude and direction shown in the figure 2. So we want to find either the particle is in equilibrium or not. So keyword equilibrium means that our F net must equal to 0. So Fx must equal to 0 and our Fy must also equal to 0. Okay, so let's solve the problem by identified the forces that we have so we have three force okay so we have f1 f2 and f3 so for each force we need to resolve it okay this means it has the x and y component and make sure you remember to put the sign convention for each of the component okay moving to the right positive left negative upward positive and downward negative then Substitute all the information into the table of forces. So since we have three force, so we have F1, okay, and the X component negative 2.0 and and Y component 0. And for F2, it is negative 5 sine 30 degree and Y component negative 5 cos 30 degree. Okay, so calculate. Press your calculator and you will get negative 2.5 Newton for F2x and for F2y, you get negative 4.33 Newton. The last force, we have F3, 6 cos 40 degree for X component and 6 sine 40 degree for the Y component. Okay, press your calculator again to find the value and you get 4.6 Newton for the F3x and... F3y equal to 3.86 Newton. Okay, so the resultant force or the net force for X and Y component. Okay, for X component, we get 0 0.1 Newton and Y component equal to negative 0 0.47 Newton. So F net. Okay, we can find our F net by using Pythagoras theorem. Substitute the value of F fx and fy and we get the value to be zero point four eight newton okay since our f net equal to zero point four eight newton this means the object is not in equilibrium or the particles is in not in equilibrium okay because our F net is not equal to zero. Okay, let's start by let's start solving the second question where we have PSPM 2011-2012 and we have a 0 0.4 kg block being pushed against a rough vertical wall. Okay, rough vertical wall means we have Fs or Fk. We're going to identify it after this. And by a force F at an angle 45 degree. Okay, since the block remains stationary, this means F net equal to zero and we choose our static friction. Okay, so the first question asks to sketch the free body diagram and the second question asks to find the magnitude of the pushing force. Okay, so first let's start sketch our free body diagram for the forces acting on the object. Okay, so the object we express it as a dot. And there's a weight acting in the downward direction and friction acting in the upward direction that helps to avoid the object from falling down. Okay, and we have a force that acting at 45 degree from the horizontal point. And lastly, we have a normal force 
that been drawn perpendicular from the wall. Okay, so let's solve our problem by writing out all the forces acting on the object. Okay, so we have the static friction that is zero at the x component and coefficient of static friction times with the normal force. And we have n, negative n at the x component since moving to the left and zero for the y component. And for weight, we have zero at the x component and, and negative weight at the y component. So substitute the value into the equation of weight and we get negative 3.92 Newton. Okay. And the last one is our force that been applied. So this force need to be resolved into x and y components since it's been applied at 45 degree from the horizontal. Okay. So resolve the forces. Uh, sorry, resolve the force and we get F cos 45 degree for the X component and F sine 45 degree for the Y component. And our F net equal to zero for both X and Y component since we want to let our object to be in equilibrium or stationary. Okay, done listing all the forces acting on objects. So let's find the magnitude of force. By solving the x component first, we know that fx equal to zero sum up all the forces at x component. Okay, so we get f equal to n divided by 0 0.71 as the first equation. And next, we move to the y component and sum up all the forces and equal it with zero. Okay, substitute the value of the coefficient of static friction. Okay. So we get 0 0.2 n minus 3.92 plus 0 0.71 f equal to 0. Equation 2. Next, substitute 1 into 2 to find the value for the normal force. Okay. So we have the normal force to be 3.27 Newton. And next, substitute this value into the first equation and we get the value for the force to be 4.61 newton so that's all thank you and subscribe my channel